And so, look, somebody will ask, why is it that your presidential candidate is on this blasting spree, so to speak? Uh, good morning to you and your cherry viewers. Uh, let me say that uh, Alan Chamante is poised for a massive victory come December 7th. Uh, my candidate, Alan, did not blast former president, uh, John Ejokunku, for. He only sought to critique his judgment. Why? Why? Because only a couple of days ago, we came here critiquing the judgment of the Supreme Court on the case. What it means is that nobody in this country is above critique. President Kufo made a judgment that of the 12 candidates contesting for the presidency of this country, he sees or views Dr. Mahmoud Baumia as the, pres uh, as the one suitable to, to taking us out of our current predicament. Now, my candidate comes in and says, well, I disagree. Based on what? This is a simple thing that any serious candidate that wants to be the president of this land must do. That based on what are you saying that Dr. Mahmoud Baumia is better than me? It's as simple as that. This is but, but so look, Alan Chamante is no a mean person to the former president. Yes, and that is why it is very important that we set the record straight. Because former president uh, Kufo knows Mr. Alan Chamante very well, and he knows Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. So if you are saying that Roland is better than me, there must be a foundation. What is the basis? What, what reason did the new patriotic party, based on what did the new patriotic party, even selected Dr. Mahmoud Baumia as the running mate? They went to, to a post. Which, first of all, before he joined the new patriotic party to be the running mate, why did the party settle on him? The, the candidate then, uh, Nana Kufuado, told the whole world that the city has been hata, hata, hata. You remember that phrase? I do. That the city had been hata at that time. The city to the dollar was 1 is to 4.2. Again, he himself, Baumia, had told the world that he knew so much about economics to the extent that he was always doing what we call uh, inflation exchange rate, uh, uh, interest rate analysis, telling us that given the opportunity, he will stabilize this economy. At the time he was doing that, inflation in 2016 was 15.4. We were buying a liter of diesel, and by extension, a gallon of diesel for only 14 cities. And I believe that these economic indicators were worse in 2016. So if you got the opportunity to be the running mate, and you were handled with the economic management of this country, and as we speak, the city to the dollar is 1 to 17, on what basis would the former president, John uh, Ejokun Fufo, come and tell the whole world that this person who has led us from 1 to 4.2 to 1 to 17 is better than the rest? You didn't listen to the former president the first time when they were launching, said that uh, he had listened to so, a lecture, a so, book that was even written, or his research paper, and was so impressed that yeah. it was even under him that they had to bring him to the Bank of Ghana to make sure that was undertaken. First of all, former good accolades. First of all, former President John Kufu uh, missed the opportunity of being the father of this country. He missed a glorious opportunity. Yeah, he missed. You mean he goofed? Yeah, he goofed. The first time he made this endorsement was on the 7th of February 2024, when the the uh, the, uh, the, the of the MPP, Dr. Mahmoud Bawanya, was doing what we call bold solution presentation. At that time, he said, Dr. Bawanya was the man of destiny. We did not take him on because we felt that it was an MPP political activity and he was speaking to political party fanatics. And so what was our business going into the details of what he said? Indeed, he, the second time he endorsed Dr. Uh, Mahmoud Baumia was just two weeks ago with Asempa Obi. It did not fly. This time around, the reason why we decided to, to take him on... It did not on, fly? I did not. It was just a waste of everybody's time. And my sister and I are done to did a better rendition of him when he dis she dismantled everything that former President John Ejekunfu did. Indeed, this time around, my candidate decided to take him out to critique what he has done because be some three hours to the program, we were sitting out somewhere and there was a flag going around saying that Kufo speaks to the nation. If you tell me Kufo speaks to the nation, what you are trying to tell me is that now he is going to remove his MPP colors from, from his sleeves and then address us as a, as a statesman. So we all decided to have listened to what you, he had for us, only to try to double into something that indeed he was not even speaking the truth. The truth of the matter is that when you compare competence, 
Doctor Mahmoud Bami, I can't know when. Yeah, it's not even close. It's not even. Are you when, sure? It is not even close. Go to me today and everywhere that he can come closer to uh, John Alankojo Chebante. Life before uh, 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 politics, life in politics, and so on and so forth. He doesn't come nowhere near. So this fact is very much known to the former president. So why has an elderly person would you come and stand before the nation and speak an pedal on obvious on truth? Pedal on truth? On truth. This is an on truth. We know that it's from an MPP administration to, uh, to another MPP administration that he's advocating. Yes. It, but the question will be, who, who brought us to where we are? Is it because of Russia and Ukraine as always? No, I mean, if you don't tackle the fundamentals, we always go back to Russia, Ukraine situation. If an economy that is dependent on gold and cocoa for several years, you don't expect to do anything meaningful. That's why I always come in and tell you that the only way out as, as a country is to focus on the great transformation plan by diversifying the base of this economy, introducing new areas like petrochemical, salt, agriculture, and so on and so forth. That is the only way we can be raking in a lot of forex to be able to deal with our current And Alan situation. remains the man? No, no, he remains the man. And I'm coming. <laughs> let me deal with certain things. Look, let me make an emphatic statement here that Alan is never bitter, has never been bitter. If he was that bitter at that tender age, he wouldn't have led the Young Executive Forum to build a new patriotic party, for which reason my brother Amir here is enjoying from it. How can he be better when men, those days that men, were, all of them were afraid of Jerry Rollins, it was Alan that was leading the onslaught. If mm -hmm. Alan is better, you don't remember, in 1996, the same president go forward that today, he wanted us to take his words as the, the, as the gospel truth. He had to beg Alan for not, not to contest him as a flag bearer of the MPP. Why? Because he saw Alan as a threat. He had to go and see Apia Minka and Don Kofondio and beg them that Alan would just de depose him. And he has suffered so much in politics and that if they do not talk to Alan, Alan would, would, would just make his work or sweat in this world in vain. Again, he is talking about the fact that Alan has a uh, uh, ca cabinet subcommittee. Yes. Well, I mean, these people went... And when, that Alan Chermanti is also complicit so with the difficulties all, that the president, you see the uh, former president talk about. Inconsistencies in his delivery. First of all, he claims that the first four years of NBP's administration, so good, and by which, we, uh, if I'm going by what he said, that means Alan was the one who was in charge of all the goodies. Let me tell you, there is nothing like cabinet subcommittee on economic management. It's the only it's... economic management team we have is the one that is headed by Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. And you know why we are where we are? Look, Alan brought a policy uh, 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 like, um, uh, what's the name? One district, one factory. One district, one factory that was supposed to create more factories to absorb the teaming you to are unemployed. This government looks straight to, uh, into Alan's face and invested less than 500 million Ghana cities. And guess what? Dr. Mahmoud Bamiya, who was the head of economic management team, got 2.4 billion cities. And it, it, who told you this? Oh, it is in the budget. He invested it in mm -hmm. what you call NAPCO, Nation Builders Co. And guess what? He says he was paying graduates 800, 700 cities a month. My checks, and I've dared them to produce the list of the 100,000 people that they, were, they claimed they were paying. He, 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 he scalped this country into believing that he was paying 100,000 people. Apparently, 4,600 people were being paid. You, you are saying scam. I'm Some don't say scam. No, no, no. That's why he scam. So that I'm going to address his issues with regards to NDC very soon. So, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia has no modicum of idea to develop this country. Look. Of all the candidates vying for the position of presidency, I dare you, and I'm, I am challenging the Ghanaian, they must recall today, if the people of this country make mistake by not settling on Alan Chemantin, we will be coming here next year today and then be, 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 be crying over why we decided not to do what is right. In terms of how we have mismanaged the country, then this can also not take itself out. My brother, Sam George, are also part of the problem, he and his people. If you go to Article 80, 181, Three. What does it say? I would open this jar read. No loan shall be raised by the government on behalf of itself or any other public institution or authority otherwise done by or under the authority of an act of parliament. It is the parliamentarians, together with this on serious president and advice, that have approved the, all the loans that is killing this economy. Why did he run to the, the IMF? Okay. I don't think I want to finish our response. It was, because we opened most okay. of those loans. 
you know we oppose those laws. Ah, but, but it is the name of the numbers. parliament. Look, when we petition parliament, that do not, for Christ's sake, for the sake of the unborn generation, pass Ken of Oriata, they willingly and grace, graciously pass him at vetting. So, but Ken of Oriata sat uh, on the same uh, meetings and then also alongside various uh, chaired meetings by Ken of Oriata and Baumia, they are, they, 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 are, they they are so incompetent. And that is why... Ken of Oriata and who? Also, Baumia, so incompetent. That is why... Someone, and that we both agree. Are you, are you always agree. That is why I said that, indeed, mm -hmm. it was needless for you to have drawn in the angle of honor. You know very well that in this country, outside politics, of all the 12, and I'm, a, I'm challenging Ghanaians to evaluate all of them, their competences. Alan was known in the uh, private space before politics. In fact, in 1994, when the world was looking for the best 100 people to lead us into the future, the whole of this country had Don Muhammad here, we had uh, Don Ejekuku for himself, who is now telling us that he knows who is better for us. He was here, the world did not mention his name, they mentioned Alan's name. When Nelson Madiba Mandela was looking for seven people to develop South Africa, only seven. Alan's name was seen. He helped build South African economy. So if today we are at the crossroad, we are with the IMF, things are so difficult. We have deferred all our uh, payments into future, and we are looking for someone to take us out. <laughs> and Alan is seen. Why must you leave? And I will end by saying that we Alan does not oppose President Kufo in endorsing whoever he wants to endorse. So why did he but speak that any way? time that he endorsed anybody, we will push him to strip proof to tell us why he must defend his actions. Mm -hmm. Else it becomes in vain. I went and showed my Ghana card and I was really... You are, you, are, you are a fine gentleman. If Baumia is sinking with his life, don't go there. He, he is already, he's, he's with rising. him, he's with him. Stop he's going there, okay, he's rising. Gentlemen, gentlemen, okay. Okay. He's not sinking, he's, he's rising. Make, make, make uh, when Baumia said 197 oh, countries, in fact, they went ahead to say 44,000 airports would accept the Ghana card. You cannot use the Ghana card but to Pastor travel. Joe, as far as I'm concerned, that you cannot was use, to mean you that cannot use the Ghana card to travel to Ghana. You can't use it, to 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 Ghana. You you can't use it at Togo. You can't use it from Ghana to travel with to Togo. Sky. Sky travels from Accra to Togo. You can't use Ghana card to travel from Accra to what Togo. So you see, when I tell you that Baumia is a scammer, he's a scammer, he's a con artist. Eh? Look. And they can sit here and say, oh, some judges insulted. When they said Mahama was incompetent and called him all kinds of names, that one they said they were describing him. Today, when you describe them in the very way that they are carrying out their activities, then they say, boy, let me tell I'm you something. Boy. Let me tell you something. Baumia, again, and let me use this to corrupt, correct yes. President yes. Kufo. I want to present, correct President Kufo. It's not true that President Kufo was the one who brought Baumia to the Bank of Ghana. No, 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 it's not true. Baumia was picked as a research assistant and put in a research department by Dr. Gufo. Dr. Gufo, yes, yes, yes. It wasn't President Gufo. You, so, you, know you see, <laughs> Baumia, Baumia's thesis for his PhD, that makes him doctor, was on the economic transformation of Ghana's economy under, under President Rawlings. Baumia, and I tell you that he's a dishonest person today turning around and talking about the NDC. You talk about interoperability. Look, again, I, like I said, you, there, when some George is sitting on a platform with you, there are certain areas you must be careful when you go. And you too. Listen, on the issue interoperability. Of the interoperability. He, First and foremost, he like said you right, he championed it. Wait, like you rightly said, there was a contract in place before Baumia came. One point but one even billion. before, again, you see, that's why I said you need to be careful. No, that I'm contract, asking you. That contract okay, was okay, at okay. zero cost to the taxpayer. Baumia came and paid $5 million. That contract, you see, when you are doing contracts, let me explain to you. That's that my zero area. Cost to work? Let me tell you something. When you are running a contract and the contract is a BOOT, mm -hmm. and you say that the, the contractor must fund the project and will get a percentage of revenue, what you then do is you calculate over a timeline, the 10 years BOT lifeline, what is the value of transactions? That is what was pegged at 1.5 billion, not the value of paying the contractor. The contractor will get a percentage of that amount. It was a BOT. You guys don't understand these things. And Baumia runs around and lies to you, no, and you no, come and no, vomit no, no. those lies. But listen, no. before Sam we even had, wait, 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 before Sam we even had interoperability, Sam 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 in this country, in this country, in this country, you could send Roland, you were in this country, and Momo has been running for 15 years before Baumia even thought of becoming vice president. Yeah. 
Listen. They celebrate 15 years. This yes, year. yes, 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 yes. yes. And, and, and let me tell you something. Before interoperability, where, we, where the Bank of Ghana and that Abdul Nashiru Ishahaku started the interoperability platform, the telcos allowed you to transfer money. You could transfer money from MTN yes, to Vodafone yes. using a token. Yeah. So I will transfer to you. They will I give you a token. Code. You will use the token to go to the agent and, and withdraw the money. Well, he says he champion. How, champion was champion? something that was already in existence before you. Why, came. Why, what are you champion? Are you asking the relevant but question? But the man says he's a bitch. How did he champion it? Then corruption. The man says he's a bitch. How did he champion it? Then corruption. He says that three courts in France, UK, and where America said Mama is Geo One. And what did they say about Geo One? Did they say Geo One was involved in corruption? The special prosecutor that Nanado has appointed said there is nothing wrong in, 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 in after engaging the FBI and the SFO of the UK. They found nothing wrong with Mahama. So identifying an individual in an investigation does not in, impose culpability or criminality. But when we talk about corruption, Baumia is corrupt. Baumia is nepotistic. Baumia has. I will give you that. Oh, I will call you. Let me give you. No, 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 let is the epitome of corruption in this election. How do you make those scores? Baumia is not just corrupt, he's nepotistic. He's appointed his brother-in-law, his father-in-law, to po government positions. After doing that, and tell me that that's it. That's it. Hey. That's the appoint. Can I, can I continue? You end, no, end. No, but tell him to stop interjecting me. Like. Yeah. No, it's okay. Baumia has taken contracts so sourced and given to his blood brother. Oh, how can he take the contract? Oh, so the brother, so the brother so got so sourced contract. contract okay. for his brother. Baumia, he used sat in his office and used allowed one of his aides to use his office letterhead to go and steal somebody's imported rice, rice, rice to go and rice. distribute he your rice. Till today, till today, till today, that person is not a rice. Like I said, but is not just corrupt, but he steals people's rice. Just continue. 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 You are mute, you, That's you are, Baumia's track record. You are, you are, you are talk about corruption. You are muted. The let me, let me just read a couple of comments. All right. Your microphones are off. I mean, Two I minutes. Would, I, Sorry. I would have agreed with this, Tester, if there was consistency. We had E. Levy in court. The president went ahead to sign. We had this in court. He decided not to sign. But that notwithstanding. You, are, you think he's been inconsistent? Inconsistent. You said he's taking judicial yeah. notice. Let me put on notice. Or perhaps executive notice. Or state emphatically that my candidate, Alan Chimantin, if they fail to sign, he would have sent to the president of the land. By 12 o'clock, as soon as he's phone in, 12.01, he will go and but sign the First of all, he won't be the president. Number two, he's it's, all, it's he's unfortunate he's that we he's voted for a very weak president and a weak vice president. I don't understand. Because this decision not to sign was as a result of Kamala Harris and the Democratic Party put you in the fear of God. No, no, that is it. I, I Look, we have person. been saved said by Donald Trump. I can assure you that this case, the president will sign. Let me tell you, he will sign because he knows that if he does not sign, Allah will come and sign. And so he will sign, but he will only sign because Kamala that was hunting them. He and Baumia, these men allowed this woman to come all the way from the U.S. and they were controlling to her dictates. And that is why today you hear the Supreme Court say that hey, team, we know hey, team, it will be business as usual and the president will sign and Ghana will move on. I have my submission here. Okay. This one is coming from Nelson Akotia on our stream. He says, Roland, I was nearly arrested in Sweden when I tried using the Ghana card to come back home. The Ghana card is just... Uh, I, I think can that we, we also have testimonies of people who have used Roland, the Ghana card to travel into this, Ghana. We have to be truthful. And, uh, uh, Roland, uh, and then, this and, is education, and, 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 and not politics. Then, please allow the host. Oh, I work there. So let me you don't work in an airport, you work in a consulate. Oh. The, the travel is at when the airport. Stop saying you work there. I mean, when you were coming, when you were coming from America, did you come with a Ghana card? When you were coming from America, did you come with a Ghana card? You would allow me to Ghana card. Kofi Amaya has never traveled to Ghana without a Ghana card. Kofi Amaya has never traveled to Ghana without a Ghana card. Kofi Amaya has never traveled to Ghana without a Ghana card. Kofi Amaya has never traveled to Ghana without a Ghana card. Kofi Amaya has never traveled to Ghana without a Ghana card. Kofi Amaya has never traveled to Ghana without a Ghana card. Kofi Amaya has never traveled to Ghana without a Ghana card. Kofi Amaya has never traveled to Ghana without a Ghana card. Kofi Amaya has never traveled to Ghana without a Ghana card. Kofi Amaya has never traveled to Ghana without a Ghana card. Kofi Amaya has never traveled to Ghana without a
We are Ask him when he travel to Ghana with a Ghana card. Chale, All the chale, times he's come chale, from America, he's come chale, with a passport. Chale, chale. He's come with a service passport. I even doubt whether he has any Ghanaian passport. No, he has a service passport. Service passport. Yes. Chale. 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 Good morning you know, to you. Know, you know, I have passport. this one uh, from hey, you're uh, diplomatic uh, passport, who says, if you live in a country where the elders can't speak the truth because of party colors, prepare for an inevitable do. I have lost all respect for the former president. What he said, he should have just talked like a statesman. Um, this one, or say AEC, or say AEC says, I'm texting you from Kofodria to be truthful. Development by the Ekufuado Baumia government is unmatched. It is the best government so far. And then my simple message this morning is that um, Kufuo no force for Alan. Your simple message is Kufo no force for Alan. No, he forced. Now Star 439 no, hash. We have cash out. And uh, please make sure that you use um, option two when you dial star 439 hash. And then also increase the number of uh, tickets that you have so that you could be in a, a position as always to be able to win. But uh, where's the campaign trail so far? Where, where are you poking? We are in Kumasi now. We ah, are in Kumasi. But I thought is in Kumasi. No, no we, we want to finish the job. But because they are not surviving in the Asante region, that is why they needed to draw in the former president, John Ejikun Kufo, to come and try but and save the situation. But unfortunately for former president Kufo, we have already taken the space and occupied it. In Ashanti region. Ashanti region. It is the stronghold of the MPP. They don't have any If you look at the numbers. It is not there. As a campaign It is a microfinance. It is a microfinance for them. So I want And again, the momentum is on us. There is no momentum. Ghanaians 